Good evening, humans. Trans Wars Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Blazer figure from Bandai. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure is crisp and beautiful, and I know I use that term crisp a lot with SH Figure Arts, but I mean, they have their stuff dialed in. <laughs> you know, love them or hate them, they just definitely like bring it when it comes to paint and sculpt, and uh, you know, as we can see, very sharp sculpt all around here. Uh, with the head in particular, I love the fact that they have this kind of texture going on under the translucent plastic here on the left eye uh, just really brings it to life and then you get those eyes again i love that figure arts uh, does the transparent or the translucent plastic with the uh, kind of combination look for the eyes uh, just really just makes them stand out and look extra classy silver here is nice and bright we get the reds blues and blacks reds and blues are nice and nice and bright as well <laughs> to kind of overuse that word but paint is also pretty much on point here uh, you can see just very nice details all those details sculpted as well so you can see where all the lines are supposed to be uh, and everything just kind of comes together very very nicely this is a very like awesome design as well uh, i love the way that kind of black works into the silver and just kind of gives it a, a very more cybernetic look i guess than some like past ultramen and uh yeah, just really good stuff all around. And we get this nice sculpted spine here. Uh, really cool to see the evolution of that over the course of you know, the Ultraman series over the years. So very nice there. And uh, yeah, just really, really good stuff. So fantastic aesthetics. We get a great loadout of accessories, so let's get right into it. Uh, so right out of the box, we do get a pair of fists. Then we get a pair of open palm hands, flying hands. And we get a pair of relaxed hands. Then we get a pair of um, relaxed slash pointing hands. Grappling hands, I guess as well. Uh, we get a couple of clawed hands. And then finally we get a couple of gripping hands. And those gripping hands are for the, uh, I'm going to get this word wrong, the Tysonite, Tyslonite sword. And uh, yeah, just this thing is gorgeous. <laughs> this might be my favorite accessory. Uh, just it's so, so nice. Uh, that That is a translucent kind of teal blade. And uh, it's not actually showing up. Well, hold on. I have a light here. And uh, get this to work. There we go. As you can see. Light comes through the blade. Looks very, very nice. Um, just really cool there. And this kind of gold which, with a kind of greenish gold tinge. Looks absolutely beautiful. Um, very, very sharp sculpt as well. Uh, then we can see the wraps are nicely done. And then we get the kind of crystal here in the middle. And that does actually spin. A fantastic touch. So I really love this thing to, to bits. So. <laughs> uh, and then finally, we get, of course, color timers because it is an Ultraman character. So we get the blue one already in the figure. And then we get the red color timer. I'm having trouble with the focus here. Right out, of the bo uh, right out of the box. So, yeah, that will do it for accessories. Articulation balance here are positively beautiful. Uh, as we can see, freestanding kicks that look awesome. Um, cannot ask for more there. Uh, this also was really easy to get into. The, the joints are nice and dialed in. So just fantastic work there from Figure Arts. Uh, also really cool engineering going on here. We get to kind of start right off with it. So for the head, uh, usually for Ultraman figures, the uh, back fin here on the neck will retract into the body. That's not the case with this one. So uh, when we're looking up, we actually have, I don't know how I'm going to be able to show it, um, but there's a piece that comes out of the neck and then there's a hinge and then a ball joint at the end of that. So uh, we're able to bring it up to get into our flying poses or we can retract that down and uh, can still get some really fantastic range up uh, and insane amounts of down. So really just some of the best range I think I've ever seen on a figure arts. Then we get tons and tons of side to side rotation, beautiful work all around. Our uh, butterflies that come forward, not really back, but we do have a kind of uh, ball hinge kind of coming in here. Uh, and that's gonna allow us to come up 
and uh, we're not getting quite out of a T, but uh, pretty damn close. And we got some rotation there as well. Double jointed elbows, but we're getting just past 90. Again, we got a lot of sculpt to contend with. Then we have swivel hinge swivel here at the hands, so you can go anywhere you want there. Coming to the diaphragm, uh, we get a ball joint here, ball joint at the waist. And uh, not too much crunch, unfortunately. There's a very tight sculpt, so we're not really coming forward too much. Nice arch back, though. And uh, some nice side to side as well. So it kind of makes up for that crunch. Uh, and especially with the neck, you can kind of get the effect you want. Come to the hips. And uh, we do have slight drop down. Uh, slight drop. We have actually really good drop downs. <laughs> I didn't actually try to test those earlier, apparently. And uh, that leads to pretty much full splits. Gorgeous. Uh, we do get thigh swivel pretty well hidden on this one. Definitely not our standard um, SH figure arts thighs. We get double jointed knees, which are bringing us to here. And then for the feet, uh, we get a little bit of play with the rotation. Uh, we get some very, very generous rocker on both in and out. And then finally a toe joint. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with a couple other Ultraman figures from Mafex and uh, Spectrum ACG. With some domestics. With some other imports. With some monsters. Finally, with articulated icons, Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the uh, SH figure, it's Ultraman Blazer figure from Bandai is that this figure absolutely kicks ass. This is a lot of stuff that I tend to love about um, the SH Figure Arts Ultraman figures, but just really amped up. Uh, there's a little unfortunateness. Uh, actually, I guess in articulation, I didn't point out that the torso doesn't really turn. Um, you know, you, you get a little bit of play, but it's not crazy. Uh, so there, there's that. But I mean, the engineering and the head, the aesthetics just being absolutely gorgeous and just a, hell that sword piece for the uh, um, accessories alone just I sells this for me so uh, if you like this design if you like Ultraman Blazer absolutely pick this up do not pass it up uh, and it is available from a few online resources uh, I know Big Bad Torso is one of them that's where I got mine uh, so I'll have a link or two in the description if you are interested in picking one up so uh, that being said I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining and if you did Hope to see you back because because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So uh, if any of that appeals to you, if all of that appeals to you, come on back. Let's escape this world for a while. Talk about some very nice plastic and uh, yeah, just hope to see you again. So ultimately, I just hope you're well. Hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.